Hi everyone, in today's video we will learn everything about different kinds of tabs, stops and indents in Microsoft Word. In tabs, we will locate left tab, right tab, center tab, decimal tab and column tab. While in indents, we will learn about left indent, first line indent and hanging indent. So let's dive into the video to learn about these important Microsoft Word tools. A tab stop actually it defines the length of indent used at the beginning of a line or paragraph. For example, I'm going to write something like name and if I'm going to press on tab, you can see the cursor is moving ahead by a fixed length. Now this fixed length is actually a tab stop. By using the tab stop option in Microsoft Word, we can actually customize the length of this tab stop. Let me show you. First, let me go to view tab and turn on this ruler. Now you can see a ruler appear right at the top just beneath the ribbon and this vertical ruler on left side of your Word document. Right over here, you can see we have this sort of L which actually defines left tab. If you click over it, you can see now a sort of inverted T appears which is actually center tab and this is right tab and this is decimal tab and this is bar tab. So we are going to look at each of these in this tutorial. Left tab actually aligns the text to the left at the specified tab stop position. This is the most common type of tab used for creating list bulleted points in general text alignment. Let me show you how we can define a specific length of left tab in Microsoft Word. When it is turned on, you can simply click on your horizontal ruler and place tab stops there. Let me show you. I'm going to click on this first inch mark and you can see a little L is placed right beneath this one inch marker. And similarly, if I'm going to click again on this three inch marker, a second L would be placed over here. And likewise, I want to insert one more left tab stop right under five inch mark click and there we go. Now if you press the tab, it would stop at one inch mark. Again, if you press, it would stop at three inch mark and similarly it would stop at five inch mark. And after that, it would go by default, that is 0.5 inch mark. Let me write something over here, name and let me press tab and there you go, father name, press tab, date of birth, you can see it's going by a specified amount that you have fixed on your ruler. As I've told you, this is normally used to create lists, bulleted points or general text alignment. And now if you want to remove these tape stop, you can simply come right onto the tape stop that you have inserted, hold it and drag it down and it's gone. Simply hold it, drag it down and it's out. Let me delete the text. The second tape stop is this center tape stop. This center tape centers the text around the tape stop position. It is used for titles, headings and centering specific text portions. Let me show you. You can see I have some text over here with headings placed all towards left and I want these headings to be placed right in the middle all at once. For that, I can use this center tape stop. Let me show you how we can insert this center tape in our Microsoft Word document. First, let me come right over here into editing, select and let me select text with similar formatting. Click over here and there you can see all these headings have been selected at once. Now simply come right into the middle and click over here and there we have our tape stop inserted. And now simply place your cursor right behind this text and press on tape. And there we go. It's getting right into the middle of the document just by pressing the tape key only once. So this is how we can use this center tape stop. Let me undo it. And if you want to remove it, simply hold it and drag it down like this. Now, let me show you how we can apply the left tape. Simply click over here and there you can see we have our right tape turned on. Let me show you how we can apply it. It's quite similar to the way we have used all other tapes. Simply go over here onto the top of your ruler and click wherever you want your tape stop to be placed. Let me apply it to this four and a half inch marker. Click over here and there you can see we have inserted our right tape stop. Now if you click on tape and there you go. In similar manner, you can place one more tape stop over here. Click over here and there you can see it's positioned right at the place where you have inserted this right tape stop. If you want this tape stop to work for all the headers, then select the header first, then put this tape stop right at the position you want it to be. 
This right tape stop is normally used to position the date or number right towards the right side of the document. Let me show you. I'm going to click on this four and a half inch, inch point and there it is. Now, if you click on this date, there you go. That is normally placed over here. So now you can insert your date right at this particular position. So that is how we normally use this right tape stop. Now, the next tape stop is this decimal tape stop. How it is used? Let me show you. Simply, when it's turned on, click on the ruler where you want this decimal tape stop to be placed. Let me click over here and there we have our decimal tape stop placed. Let me show you how we can use it. I'm writing 1.3 and again tape. This time I'm writing 12.3 and let me press tape again and I'm writing 123.4 and you can see all the decimals are vertically aligned and this is what the decimal tape is all about. It has aligned all our digits according to the position of this decimal point. Let me press enter again tab and let me insert a figure like this again 0.56 you can see they all are aligned according to the decimal in each of these terms. So this is how we normally use decimal tape stop. Now the next tape stop is bar tape. Bar tape doesn't directly affect the text but inserts a vertical line at the tape stop position. It is actually useful for dividing sections, creating guidelines or visual separators. So when it's turned on, let me click over here in three inch marker position and there we have our divider. Let me write something like phylum, class, order, genus, family. And you can see as soon as we are writing our text, a divider is appearing right over here. If you place your cursor right next to phylum and click on tab, you can see our tab is going forward. And now this time it's blinking right at the position where this bar tab is placed. So this doesn't actually separate the text. If you write something over here like core data, it appears right over here. And you can check it by pressing one of the character. Let me press backspace and you can see text simply stretches right over to this bar tab. So it's just a visual separator. You can use it simply to see where you need to place your next character or text. So let me place my text over here. Now let me press enter, tab, tab, press keep on tab, visual separator and again right over here. Now you can insert your text like this. In this way you can visually separate your text keeping the bar tab in the middle. Let me take it off now. Select everything, press delete. Now after the bar tab, if you click, you can see we have this first line indent turned on. Let me show you how we can use this first line indent. Simply select the text you want to apply first line indent to. Now come right over here onto the top. When it says first line indent, hold it and drag it towards right, you can see only the first line is being moved towards right while the rest of the text remains at its place. This is called first line indent. Let me press Ctrl Z to get back. This is how we normally utilize this first line indent. And similarly, if you click over here, you can see we have this hanging indent. Let me show you how we can use hanging indent. It's normally applied to references in a professional document. Let me select all these references, go right over here in the middle. And when it says hanging indent, simply drag it towards right like this. And there we go. You can see the first line remains at its place while the rest of the text is pushed towards right. This is essentially how we use hanging indentation. Let me press Ctrl Z to get back. Click over here and you can see we are again back into our left tape, which we have already explained. One more thing that I would like to highlight is you can come right over here into this paragraph section. Click on this little arrow and over here you can see in the indentation we have this option spatial. You can also use this first line or hanging indentation right from here as well. And you can also specify the amount by which you want your first line or hanging indent to be placed in your document. Let me show you. I'm going to select all this text like this. Let me go over here in the spatial option. Let me click on hanging indent and the amount specified is 0.5 and let me click on OK and there we go. You can see the indentation has been applied just by a single click. So there is also option for you to apply the indentation to the whole of a document using this particular feature.
let me press ctrl z and there we are back at our document one more thing that needs to be discussed is this particular option right in the middle left margin if, if you simply press your mouse button and drag it towards right you can see the text is moving towards left and if you drag it towards right it is moving towards right so in this way you can specify the amount of margins for your document and if you click on alt tab you can see it is showing the exact amount by which you are moving let me place it at one inch mark like this and similarly you can also specify the margins at the top and at the bottom of your page as well by using this vertical ruler on your left side simply press it and drag it up like this and there we go and similarly you can press the alt key to specify the amount by which you want your margins to be placed in your document let me choose this one inch mark and there we go so that was it for today's video i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching